The cells of the immune system all originate from the blood stem cell. Three other stem cells will arise from the blood stem cells. These three are the erythroid stem cell, myeloid stem cell, and lymphoid stem cell. From the erythroid stem cell, red blood cells will arise. From the myeloid stem cell, many different other types of immune cells will arise. Platelets, which are involved in blood clotting and inflammation, will arise from the myeloid stem cell. The mast cell is non-phagocytic. They are usually found in tissues near the external environment, like skin cells, and they also have granules that contain vasoactive mediators like histamine or heparin that affect the diameter of capillaries. Eosinophils, basophils, and neutrophils are granulocytes that are phagocytic. Eosinophils are phagocytic cells that damage the pathogen's plasma membrane in order to um, kill it. They also contain hydrolytic enzymes like nucleases, perioxidases. They also circulate in the blood in low numbers and will move to the area of infection when they're recruited to do so. Eosinophils are important in fighting worms and fungi. Basophils are also phagocytic cells that contain histamine and other things similar to mast cells. They tend to reside in tissues and do not circulate through the blood. Neutrophils are also phagocytic cells. They're the most abundant white blood cells in our bodies, and they contain different hydrolytic enzymes like lysozyme, peroxidase, or defensin. The neutrophils will phagocytose pathogens and then break them down with those hydrolytic enzymes. They circulate in the blood and will move to the area of infection when they're needed. Monocytes will also arise from the myeloid stem cell, but the monocytes will differentiate into two different types of cells called macrophages and dendritic cells. Macrophages are large phagocytic cells. Dendritic cells are named so because they look like they have dendrites emanating from them, and they detect and phagocytose pathogens. Once they phagocytose the pathogen, they're able to present the antigen on their surface and present it to lymphocytes in the specific immune system. From the lymphoid stem cells, natural killer cells will arise. Cells. They're part of the innate immunity and not the specific immunity of our immune system. They do not form memory cells, but they do destroy pathogens. From the lymphoid stem cells arise B cells and T cells. B cells can further differentiate into memory cells and plasma cells. Plasma cells will act as antibody factories. T cells can differentiate into cytotoxic T cells, helper T cells, and memory T cells. Cytotoxic T cells get messages from permanently damaged host cells that are asking to be killed and will kill them. Helper T cells secrete cytokines that help to direct the host cell and other immune cells. They do not directly kill other cells. The memory cells for both the B cells and T cells um, will lay low until they are activated upon a second infection with that same original antigen. They will allow the second immune response to be heightened and much more efficient.